Hello everyone and welcome to what has became my waking nightmare. I am the Grand Cat and we have the Ronin special event, the remastered Undertaker. The way I got this was from these 10 last raid packs, which costs, I think, 10,000 credits. I used the last of my previous credits and ran out of them and had to just go and buy 35,000 credits, which is an incredible amount of money. And I'm about to do the exact same thing again because I think I might be mildly insane. That's the only reasonable explanation I can think of. Also, I really want to know what the pro version of that image looks like because our pro Hell on the Cell Kevin Owens is really pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of fire going on there. And of course, our pro Double Heroic Butch will be coming up at some point soon. But let us get ourselves a second Undertaker. And remember, I am doing this for free. We are not being monetized by YouTube. Um, I'm not getting any payments or any money back from this. This is all just me spending money, being insane, creating content for no reason. Um, other than that, I really, really like Undertaker. And I really wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Obviously, we're not going to prom in this video. But what I can show you is what the 10 last ride packs are going to look like and how much they cost. So the first one is 200 credits. So let's go ahead. We've got Kofi Kingston. The next one is 400, which plus the previous 200 is 600. Nothing of interest. And now this one is free, but it does give you the original Ultimate Undertaker. So we shall absolutely take that. This was the reason that I went for this in the first place, because I didn't own this Undertaker. And I really wanted to back in the day. So that's why I was doing that. So uh, let me just bring this up in a calculator here. So we have currently spent 600 we are now going to spend another 800. So we just add that on. And we got a Meyer Humberto, which is of zero interest to us. Then plus 1000. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have now spent 2,400. Then we got another Meyer. This one is free and gives us the American Badass Undertaker, which I already had the pro of, but it's nice to have another one. Let's lock that down. And then plus 1,600 means we've now spent 4,000 credits. And we've got a Valhalla Seeker. And now plus another 2,000. Brings us up to 6,000 credits that we've spent. And of course, the next one is free, and it's the old school Undertaker. So you do get some pretty cool, unique versions of cards. And then the last one is plus 3,000. So it's 9,000 credits it costs, it seems. And we were on 3,600, so that does seem right. Yeah, and there is going to be our Pro Ronin Undertaker. So let's go ahead and take that. That one might be the screenshot, I'm not sure. And there we have it. You know what, actually? 
Let me make that screenshot because it's pretty cool. And lock that down and done. And it only lets you do it twice. So there you go. That's what it looks like when you have got yourself the pro. It's unavailable. It says zero of one left. And we do indeed have the pro. So let's see what combinable things we have. So obviously this is the big one. But we can also pro these ones, which is the Season 3 Undertaker. And we can also pro these little guys. So let's do that. At one time there used to be an animation here where the lightning would go in the background, but they removed that. We can also pro this cane. Didn't do anything for us, but I mean we can. Now, do I want to get these from level 0 up to level 45 just so that I've got the gold star with them? Part of me thinks yes. Also, it's interesting to see the difference between the two because you can see that there is a tremendous difference between, you know, the remaster version and the original. So it's pretty cool to see. In fact, actually, one thing we can do is let's exchange this image over with the newest one. And they look identical. With the Alexa Bliss, there was a little bit of difference between the two of them. There was a little bit of the lighting that had been upgraded and changed, but this one they've just kept it exactly the same. You know what, I think I'm going to put them to level 45. It's easy enough. So let's see what is unlocked. Actually, what is this one? Oh, right, okay. Well, we'll lock that down. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. Let's get rid of the sash banks. Level 45. And power, toughness, and charisma. That is the old school way of doing this. If I really cared enough, I would do the all the different matches for him. But I don't care enough to get him... Perfect road, I only want the gold star. Then we shall use this one to take her. Once again, more than enough. Power, toughness, charisma, confirm. And let's combine and we can see what the pro of this looks like. So from what I remember, the background used to can splash like lava. I don't know if it's still going to do that because this is season three or if it's lost its animation. Oh, it still does it. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I didn't expect it to um, to be able to do that. That's that's pretty awesome, actually. Wow. That is that's really cool. So the way to get this Undertaker back in the day, back in season three, was he was only available for one month and you could only get him from playing Royal Rumble and I played the hell out of Royal Rumble and didn't pull a single Undertaker there was a very low chance that you had of pulling it and you don't want to get obviously a pro, you needed two of them so it was just not impossible so I'm really really happy that I've actually now got this version that's really cool to see that actually yeah that is, that's pretty, that's pretty badass actually um, so recent, we are obviously going to lock that down unquestionably. There is our pro old school taker. Once again, at one time, the lightning in the background would have went, but it doesn't with the newer ones. We don't need two copies of it, so that one can go away. And of course, we've got our American Badass Undertaker there. But this is the cool one. This one I like. That is pretty awesome. Uh, okay, let's go to back to trainable. Uh, we're going to train this taker. Let's see what we are getting rid of. Yeah, I suppose we can get rid of this. There we go, put this one up to level 4. Unfortunately, there's no way to fortify those cards um, for anyone that was wondering. Just in case you thought that I was being rather crazy. 
Uh, we don't need any of these. I know that this rear replay and this Shino Basler hasn't been proed, but I really don't care enough at the moment. Please want to level 84. Oh, um, we can get rid of this game. We don't need that. 89. We don't care about SummerSlam 21s either. 93. Don't care about Myers. Get rid of both of those. 98. One more should do it. And this Valhalla Seeker should be the finishing touch. So there you go. The level 0, well, the level 100 with 0 games, Ronan Undertaker. Um, he has 34.7 million in power, 34.85 in toughness, which is the strongest, 34.01 in speed, which is his weakest, and then 34.1 in charisma. So, of course, the power and the toughness are the strongest ones. Toughness, of course, is what the Undertaker is very well known for. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And we can go and look at Combined Wolves. And those are the cards that we are waiting to see. So, of course, once we get the, the second heroic for Butch, aka Pete Dunne, then we'll get to see what the pro of that looks like. But we'll also be trying to get both of these Undertakers up to their 100 matches so that we can see what that pro animation looks like and exactly how strong this Undertaker is going to be as well. He should actually be stronger than this Kevin Owens. This Kevin Owens currently has momentum on him, so he's actually a little bit weaker than that. In fact, actually, let's go and take a look and see what Mr. Owens looks like uh, without momentum. So without momentum, he still has 40 million across the board. He doesn't have any equipment on him, as you can see, no equipment. And that's him with just his 100 games, and of course level 105 and fully pro And there you go, he's got 41 million in both toughness and power, and then 40 million in speed and charisma. With of course power being his strongest one, and Undertaker, should be stronger than that because he started with higher stats than what the premium live event Kevin Owens, which a lot of people just prefer to call the money in the bank Kevin Owens because it's the money in the bank rewards. But he started off with higher stats than that. So um, it'll be very interesting to see exactly how powerful this is. And if I'm right, that should also, the two of these are actually already in my top four for the left arrow. But of course, once they pro, those two are going to combine together and we are going to need the left arrow uh, once again from Finn Balor. So we can't go get rid of Finn Balor yet, even though Finn Balor currently isn't, isn't in any decks. He will go back into the deck once these two have been proed. So I can't go getting rid of him yet. So there we go. That is going to be it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. And remember, we are doing these for free um, because YouTube has not allowed us to monetize our videos because it won't accept an out-of-date passport. My passport ran out during lockdown and um, the only other way to get it is if you have a driver's license, which I can't get because I have only one working eye which would be detrimental to allowing myself on the road so that is the reasoning so unfortunately i have to wait for 10 weeks for the new passport to arrive and then monetization should come back hopefully but until then all these videos are being made for free so if you get any adverts um those are not helping me in the slightest unfortunately so um, very disappointing. But like I said, folks, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.